a peaceful Sunday, at least in Germany. So I'm not working on, on my new roof, a solar roof, six kilowatt with used solar panels. Instead, I today just launched uh, the fourth uh, petition on my master plan for world peace. Uh, Ukrainian war, Taiwan conflict and, and so uh, I want to talk about this today. Here it is even more peaceful. And this afternoon, my second part of my keto vegan pizza. Uh, but uh, here, a nice place for a talk on peace. So let's begin. I, I don't want to talk a lot about this text. Uh, I've cut it down from nine pages to two pages. So. <sighs> It's not uh, as utopian as a colony on Mars. And so uh, it still uh, looks like the Western countries have to do a lot more. But in fact, it's rather Russia and China who would have to take uh, greater risks for the stability of their system. Uh, but uh, of course, <laughs> the Western uh, uh, societies would, would never accept uh, this. Uh, Thing that I uh, propose and therefore I just want to talk about another war I think I've never um, made a YouTube video on it and it's, it's a crazy idea uh, uh, about the American Civil War and you might call the Ukrainian war also a civil war because before the Soviet Union Ukraine didn't exist there was only Russia and so uh, but you see, American Civil War, there were about uh, 200,000 of death soldiers on the battlefield. That's about the same uh, in, in four, uh, four years. That's about the same death in the Ukrainian war over four months. Uh, because you see, uh, technology has evolved. And so uh, you no longer need to stab your enemy to death. And so. Uh, the civil American Civil War that's this idea about a fight against slavery and and it's this idea that if you are the good one and the other one is the bad one then killing the bad one is making the world a better place and therefore it was inevitable that the northern um, states had to fight the southern and, and kill everyone and, and so now slavery is was uh, uh, abandoned, uh, forbidden, uh, abolished, and, and now we are living in paradise. Uh, but I, I don't know if, if I find the link. There was this uh, rather, you cannot say it, but that there were more deaths in the American Civil War uh, than total uh, uh, death by the sl American slavery system up to today. And of course, it's cannot really say that because uh, you don't know how many would have been slaves would have been killed if the system would have continued and also you see living in slavery mm, it might be worse to to die for um, or kill does it but this, this question uh, is was the civil war, uh, war really bringing an end to to this hatred and uh, I have this idea that it's rather the opposite. That because uh, white Americans had to kill white Americans to bring freedom to the uh, to the black uh, people, that's why uh, up still today the southern country and the, the hatred and against the black people and all this uh, the police violence is basically still the the echo. Of, of this um, most uh, brutal um, way and and therefore I began to think well could could couldn't, could, couldn't there have been another way <laughs> to solve this and that's what I want to talk about because you see that somehow connects to 
uh, my my master plan for for world peace because it's it's quite easy i mean if you say okay the southern states they they needed slavery because of their economy because of the cotton they needed cotton pickers and and so all the farmers and so the the wealth of the south was based on slavery and so it was uh, then the idea was quite obvious okay then we have to make and give them an alternative to to a, a way of life that needs slaves and indeed you see American Civil War, I think, started 1861, and the first patent on uh, uh, mechanical cotton pickers was already 1850, 11 years before. And the economy of the northern states was ninefold, nine times that the, uh, the industrial uh, power. And so, um, if you see after first the Civil War, then the First World War, the Second World War, and really the, the cotton, mechanical cotton pickers they came into mass production after World War II, so over 100 years later. But also because of the World Wars, uh, for example, uh, um, in World War II it was not possible because the steel was needed for, for making weapons to, to kill people. And so it might be uh, fair to say if there hadn't been these three wars and okay it would not have lasted four years uh, to, to, to make the southern states surrender but maybe ten years to make this um, huge step to invent uh, mechanical cotton pickers that would make the slave workers the hard handwork obsolete in not 100 years but ten years and then simply, simply the idea that the northern states they would uh, produce not weapons but um, cotton pickers and tractors and they would give them for free to the to those southern farmers that would um, free their slaves because uh, it was already possible in the southern state that uh, a black uh, um, pe black um, human uh, could get free, could uh, even buy himself free and, and live free, but it was a poverty and those, um, those farmers, they did not want to free their, their, their people because they needed them for the um, cotton field, fields. And, and so simply this, this, this idea of me, okay, if you want to keep your slave, you can keep your slave, but here we offer you uh, industrial farming with, with, with tractors and and so and that's again this um, which is um, akin to my master plan uh, if really um, you see this oh, the right to speak for free uh, freely and and the right to demonstrate and assemble in the public and if uh, an ordinary man can choose between between these uh, personal freedoms to to vote or, or, or to speak freely or having a good life, having a comfort, uh, living here in, in peace, he always would choose, would choose uh, the, the, the personal um, good life. And so, you see, um, these farmers in the south, they would have to choose between uh, sticking to the hatred that I am better because I am white and, I, and these slaves, they, they are proofs that I uh, am, am the master and therefore I am, uh, have a great life or uh, I have a great life because uh, I did let my slaves go and um, uh, accepted the, the gift of the, the cotton picker and, and could increase my, my, my cotton production by, by 10 and, and, and have a good life. And now the important thing is that would have ended the conflict uh, peacefully. Um, so uh, from from the inner, from the people would have freely um, have letting go of of, of their uh, need for for slaves, and and that I think really could have uh, up to now would have uh, today there there wouldn't be this hatred, there wouldn't be this uh, segregation and uh, the police violence because this all would have peacefully died uh, 200, 100, over 100 years ago. And 
proof to this idea is the Soviet Union. And because I don't think that it was Ronald Reagan and Star Wars or, or uh, this uh, man, uh, Charlie Wilson, <laughs> and the Afghanistan war, and so that uh, really the Soviet Union was defeated. Uh, it's rather that the socialist system is not like the Western democracy where you have a revolution every four years with a new vote and a new president. Uh, it's a change it comes fairly slowly. That's a good thing because it's, uh, it gives stability. And when you see what tragedies you, 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 we have seen with the socialist systems like, like Stalin and, and the hunger uh, epidemies uh, in China with millions of people starving to death and still the system is, is continuing. And therefore, it, it took 50 years for the Soviet system to um, recognize by itself, with, with Gorbachev and Perestroika, that it's not really that um, bringing that much happiness, and so therefore it peacefully um, stopped. And you see, I wouldn't say that Putin wants to um, re revive uh, the, the Soviet Union. He rather wants to go back to, to, to Russia and the... the it's a Tsar, uh, so, and, and so it, you see nowadays nobody really would fight for, for, for the ideals of the Soviet Union. It's, it's, it's peacefully, it had its chance and it peacefully died and I think that's the only way to really bring change. And, and therefore this um, Idealization, idealization that the American Civil War that was a just war to, to free the slaves and, and, and war is evil, it's always evil and you, ha you have to think about other ways, different ways that really um, helps the people so that they, they freely um, uh, give up their, 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 their hatred. And I, I think it's uh, quite obvious. You see, the northern states, they had the capabilities. They, they could, um, instead of, of letting all these people die, um, build tractors, invent machines, and, and simply um, letting the, 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 the southern states choose for themselves. And, uh, and therefore, you see, I also think that this Ukrainian war, it, it, does not really solve anything. It's again this, uh, the Western power uh, wanting to keep their, their luxury. You see, it's, I have an empty train station that I bought for 5,000 euro because nobody wanted it. And here the solar warehouse with over 1,000 square meters of, uh, okay, built a lock band saw, which, I do not really need, and I guess there would be so many people in, in, in the southern countries who would love to come here and help me building. And uh, and also this, this Taiwan conflict. You see, I have a very crazy idea of of of, of solving it, but uh, in fact, you see, it's it's logically it's reasonable, and so I think you. You, you, you first have to think differently and, and start to think about crazy ideas like colonizing uh, Mars, you see. And um, because you see, it's what all these, what, what I list, they are really heavy um, steps. But um, when talking about it, and my idea is on really that uh, the China, China and Russia is taking up my ideas as a proof of the uh, decadence decadence of this uh, western ignorance that they are still wanting to be the, the i mean all this luxury that's built on on, on poverty in, in 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 the south with, with, with the third world third world you see it's i think a U, it's u.s uh, wealth that would need five uh, earth in, in, in work, labor, and, 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 and materials from the Earth, and here in Germany, I think there's three Earth, three planets that would be needed. So uh, it's not possible to give this uh, wealth and luxury uh, to, to everyone. 
and uh, but this is needed because uh, otherwise there will always be this greed and and people uh, in desperation uh, fleeing to to our other countries i i have full understanding for 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 every one of africa who, who wants to get out of this hell and and when he comes here and sees how people just living this easy life you see uh, well that's because um, uh, we have um, the poorer nations working for us and uh, of doesn't really happen a lot if I now would simply uh, become a beggar you see it's uh, I think what I only can do is to, to give this idea to, to let people talk about it and, and so that's it's and that's the idea of the petition you see that uh, people all, from all over the world start thinking about it and say, yeah, th there are other ways uh, like war and violence. And, and okay, that's that's enough. I only wanted to talk about this idea of, of the American Civil War and the cotton pickers, and um, to 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 prove that uh, you see the only way of change is is a peaceful change, is a change that comes from the inside. And you cannot force China or Russia to anything. This simply will only lead to to, to a prolonging of, of, of hatred and violence. And uh, it's, it's, it's up to us to, to really help um, the world to, to get the courage to, to do really steps. And okay, now please, uh, two pages. It's really only two pages. <laughs> read them and, and share them and uh, this is a second stage you see the uh, first stage is the first three were only German so I wanted the, the Western uh, people to, to, to sign the petition of course no one is signing it and, and now this basically is an intermediate step so that uh, people from all over the world from, from Asia, Africa South America give a command by signing it because they say oh yeah that's um, quite a good idea or a nice idea even so it's not about them directly it's only about China Russia and Europe uh, but also you see um, I to show what what the world would would think about such a way uh, even so they would only have profit and would not need to to, to give and then I think really the last step is uh, the Chinese embassy and the Russian embassy and, and in, in hope that they would uh, like to pick it up as a propaganda that here a German physicist even uh, admits that this Western uh, democracy rather is what I call it a post-colonial uh, fascist dictatorship of, of decadency. Uh, decadency, dec decadency. Yes really very evil but that's these nine pages that you can also read but there you can all understand what all these uh, compressed uh, two pages bye bye